Hello YouTubers, this is Boniface Health Channel, excuse me, this is where we discuss uh, the various matters that are pertaining to uh, human health. So today we are going to discuss the new uh, hospital information control system, which is the HICS, the HICS system as presented by the National Hospital Insurance Fund. So this HICS system is actually a computer system that resembles uh, HMS, Hospital Management System, by virtue of the fact that uh, it has features that are similar to those of any a hospital management system, which include, but are not limited to data capture, uh, data analysis, and uh, the simulation of results. So this HICS system was introduced by the National Hospital Insurance Fund to hospitals uh, in the month of April, the year 2021, whereby it is expected to replace the old system that did not utilize the biometrics where the patient or the potential client has to have their fingers or fingerprints captured on the biometric device and this data later saved on the Higgs system so that anytime the client or the patient comes to hospital again all they have to do is to utilize uh, their finger their, or their fingerprint and the system will recognize them and will then allow the hospital or the service provider to continue uh, with the offering of services services that will later uh, be paid for by the National Hospital Insurance Fund. So those are the basics as far as the HICS or Hospital Information Control System uh, is concerned. And of course, uh, it targets uh, the clientele, which includes the students, self-employed members, civil servants, TSC members or the teachers, and the civil servants, not to forget the police service. So when a patient comes to hospital, what happens is that uh, first they are registered biometrically, which we are calling BioReg, they are registered bi biometrically, and then they proceed to being verified also biometrically after the registration process. And here at the verification uh, panel, they just utilize one of the fingers, despite the fact that while registering, they must uh, record all the fingers. Thank you, viewers. So that's basically it when it comes to what the Higgs system is. So we have the advantages of the Higgs system. One, these advantages will accrue to the hospitals themselves. They will accrue to the NHIF as the hospital uh, insurer. They will also accrue to the NHIF members themselves and also uh, to the government at large. So to the NHIF members, one of the benefits is that they are sure that their card cannot be misused because you find that in the past there were loopholes with the old system, the 10-year-old NHIF system, uh, whereby it was possible for, for a uh, fraudulent uh, personnel uh, to uh, misuse uh, membership cards uh, without the knowledge of the members. So this time around, with the Higgs system, which is a very good system, uh, this uh, possi possibility uh, is actually eliminated because the member has to utilize their fingerprint to uh, have the system uh, recognize them at the point of entry on their particular hospital. The other point is that the members are confident that they have an upgrading or a, an improving insurer because we find that uh, the members will be happy when they have when they see this technology uh, coming in, these changes taking effect because they are sure that the NHIF uh, is undertaking measures uh, to be better as time goes by. The other advantage is that uh, 
there's interaction with the new technology. I find that nowadays everybody knows that the technology is improving, it's actually evolving. So these members feel that they have not been left behind. They are also part and parcel of this evolving technology. They will also there's also participation in the cleaning or in the membership uh, utilization because you find that with the old system uh, the NHF member was not involved in the process of cleaning after service delivery but this time round uh, in fact they are at the forefront uh, to ignite that uh, cleaning process through uh, the utilization of this uh, fingerprint at the point of entry. Another advantage to the members is that uh, they have an opportunity uh, to gain more information because at the point of entry whereby uh, they are being captured biometrically utilizing any of their fingers, uh, they will or they have an opportunity to ask any question that they may have. They have an opportunity to want to know more as the process uh, is undertaken because all these things must be explained to them. So by so doing, they will gain more, more knowledge and they will have a better understanding of their health insurer. The other benefits accrue uh, to the hospital itself. One of them being that uh, there is involvement of the ICT uh, department within that particular hospital uh, setup. Because you find that in the past, the ICT department was um, redundant. I didn't have or need to occupy a bit a good share of the hospital's activities, but this time around with the Hicks system, the ICT department is at the forefront when it comes to uh, the management of data or the data capture within the hospital setup. Another advantage to the hospital is that there is control over the patient flow at the point of entry because you find that in the past. There was a haphazard like uh, movement of patients within the hospital, some of whom went unrecognized, unknown, some of whom could even bypass the hospital system without having any insurance whatsoever or without paying for the services uh, rendered. So you find that this time round the hospital has much better control over the movement of their customers. Another point is that there is better KYC which is the know your customer by the hospital because this time around the hospital has given the opportunity to capture their clientele biometrically so uh, by so doing the hospital uh, has an addition to the data that they capture that appertain to their clientele and so this is an improvement or an addition uh, to their database as, as a hospital Another point is that uh, there's encouragement to upgrade to newer technology. We find that with the advent of this fix system, it requires that uh, hospitals must upgrade to newer, better performing uh, computers and the other technology. Uh, with the system or the HICS system, requiring that a hospital must advance or upgrade to Core 5 or Core 7 computers with the 4GB or higher random access memory. So this means that uh, uh, these hospitals they are now encouraged to upgrade which will be a, a requirement for any hospital uh, to survive uh, with the competition that is there in the health sector uh, in the near future. Another advantage to the hospital is that uh, there is no more surveillance by the NHIF or, or officials who, uh, due to the limitation of the old system, had to approach or had to come to the hospitals themselves and uh, ascertain that for sure uh, members were given service, probably members are admitted at the hospital before these claims were paid. But then this, this time round, there will be no such time wastage whereby the hospital has to stop particular activities so as to attend to the requirements of the surveillance by the branch officials from the National Hospital Insurance Fund. So I find that there will be time saved and uh, 
course there will be a lot of uh, resources associated to the hospital also the monotony is reduced because you find that uh, a change is as good as a rest so uh, with this change being introduced uh, the monotony that was uh, previously created by the old system will be eliminated because uh, of the fact that uh, we have a new system that uh, encourages uh, employees to be creative to be active and of course to try as much as possible to involve themselves as opposed to the old system that was there before the 10 year old system where a very little involvement uh, was there 